Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is John Riley. Uh, depending on where you're watching this from, I hope you're having a, a good day today. And uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I just want to, first of all, thank you for anybody watching right now. I really appreciate you watching the video. I'm happy to uh, help educate people on the future of payments. And <clears throat> um, if you want to kind of help the cause, then please like the video and also subscribe to my channel so you can get updates. I will continuously be shooting videos to educate and help people stay um, informed as to what's happening with the One Life Network and our OneCoin cryptocurrency, officially the number one cryptocurrency in the world. So please subscribe, like, and even comment if you could should feel so inclined. Comment on my, my uh, video here and that would be awesome. I will respond. I try to respond to all comments except for the ones that call me bad names. So um, just wanted to start out with a little bit of humor, just to kind of give you guys an idea. If you're somebody out there who is, um, you know, kind of half in and half out, I, I kind of like to talk about there are three types of people in relationship to OneCoin. People that are either uh, mocking us and or have disdain for us, right? Publicly, they just dislike us. Uh, a lot of times, the, the have to happens to be Bitcoin enthusiasts or uh, people who are just anti-anything network marketing. Uh, that's cool. Um, some people just have a lot of anger towards uh, our project. Um, and then there are people that, someone who I used to be actually, uh, are half in, half out. Either you, you have not bought a package and you're kind of looking at this from the sidelines like, yeah, right. Is it real? It might be. Well, I guess I understand it. It makes sense, but does it? Oh, negative blog. Um, you know, or someone who actually bought a package and you're still not sure if this thing's real. And uh, those people tend to be easily shaken by any sort of blogger that comes out criticizing us. You know, we've had a couple of um, hit pieces on us from Cointelegraph. That's just a blog. Um, you know, but we, we've had some hit pieces on us recently. And like I've mentioned in a previous video, we are entering the phase of violent opposition. You, you guys are familiar with Gandhi, right? He talks about one of the stages of, of achieving greatness is violent opposition. Um, and every disruptive technology has gone through it. Every great movement has gone through it. Christopher Columbus sailing the ocean blue um, to prove that he wouldn't fall off the edge of the earth went through it. People called him crazy. They criticized him. I mean, guys, everybody goes through it. So if you're not if you're not familiar with this type of resistance or this is something that's new for you and it's uncomfortable, do not worry. You are not alone. I can assure you that if inside the community we are very very supportive and loving and um, that, that sort of crap does not go on um, within our community, at least within my team. It just doesn't happen. We all support each other. So um, you have a home. If you want to make one, click the free registration linked below. And I always reach out to people who register. So I will send you an email. And if you leave me your phone number and you're in the States, I will call you. Um, you have to give your phone number in order to register through the OneCoin or the One Life website. So it's just that's just how it is. If you really want to get involved, then... Um, expect to have me reach out to you just to kind of figure out what, what you're looking for and how I can best help you be successful in this. So that's what I do. Um, and then the other type of people are full faith on, not shaken. Blogs come out and we barely even look at them because I've seen it over and over and over. People are repeating the same things. Anytime a new investigation comes out, automatically it's it's the end of the world. Well, when you have something this big moving this quickly that is threatening this many industries, yeah, you're going to have some investigations that come along with that. And fortunately, I have 100% confidence in our leadership. We have pristine leadership, guys. We have top-notch leadership. We have Paul Smith, who used to be with Amway for more than 20 years and took them through several legal battles on the winning side. We have Dr. Ruja Ignatova, who is now going to be fully dedicating her time to the cryptocurrency side of this, the technology and the actual currency. And then we just got in uh, Pablo Munoz, um, and he is uh, someone who was with Avon, uh, just an incredibly um, high caliber um, leader. So there's a reason all these high caliber leaders are coming to our team, and it's not because we're a scam. <laughs> okay, so I just want you guys to have a little bit of faith and here we go. Let's kick this off with a little bit of humor. This is a comment I got today. Um, I think you guys will appreciate this. So uh, one coin, more than a cryptocurrency. It is a cult. 
One coin will be the currency that will unite the nations to prepare for the way of the Antichrist, the beast, the false prophet. So you guys know that's a, that's a biblical reference um, from Revelation. So yeah, this person basically thinks that we are part of uh, the Antichrist movement. We're setting up the, the movement of the Antichrist. Um, this was in Spanish, so I had to translate it. But, you know, basically this is the sort of thing you're going to get. I mean, we're talking about helping hundreds of millions of people around the world who are getting abused by the banks. They can't send money back and forth to their poor family con uh, members in poor countries. And they get charged these astronomical fees to send money that they work hours and hours a day for just to make a minimum wage. And we are the ones that are promoting something evil. Okay. Well, anyways, obviously, you know, I don't agree with this statement. <laughs> I don't believe in the Antichrist, but that's a whole other thing. Um, so, you know, that's, that's the bottom line. You're going to get stuff like this. So if you guys are out there and you're feeling a little overwhelmed because you told a few of your friends and they looked it up online and saw it was a scam, don't worry about that. Get on board, plug into uh, people that can give you the, the good, the correct tools. And, and uh, if you have any questions about marketing, um, I can help you with that as well. Shoot me an email. You'll see it in my digital business card in the more info link below. Um, okay, so moving on. I want to talk about restricted selling, okay? Um, restricted selling is part of this program's business model. It's part of the... the um, the wheels turning round and round. Without the restricted selling, this vehicle would not be moving forward in its first phase, which was um, basically mining and building the network. That was phase one. We are now entering the beginning of phase two, which is usability. Um, so in, in the first phase, we needed to have the restricted selling because without the restricted selling, this project would not exist. Okay, so I just want you guys to understand that and really think about that for a second. Without the restricted selling, this whole project would have imploded a long time ago. Um, so basically, um, what I mean by that is that we needed, and not, I'm, I'm not going to take credit for this because I am not nearly intelligent enough to have come up with this, but Dr. Ruja understood that in order for this growth to be sustainable, um, and in order for um, the coin value to continue progressing, to, to continue appreciating rather, um, she needed to have the restricted selling. And the reason being is that human beings are emotional, okay? How many blog posts ago would it have taken, right? How many negative blogs would it have taken for a huge percentage of people to run out and dump their one coins. Oh my God, it's a scam because the blogger said so. Now I'm going to run out and I'm going to sell my one coins. I'm going to dump it all. And an example of this fight or flight mentality happens all the time in the stock market, guys. So if you ever traded in the stock market, you'll understand this fight or flight uh, response. This is very common. You know, human beings panic. So Dr. Ruja understood that this taking on this big of a venture needed to have certain things put in place that would prevent the masses from screwing it up, screwing it up <laughs> essentially. You know, and that's just the frank way of putting it. The masses would have screwed this up a long time ago, okay? Everybody out there who might be a little quick to react, and, and this is not to be critical, but you probably would have sold all your coins already. Am I right? The problem with that is that the dissemination of the currency would not have gone nearly as smoothly, right? It wouldn't have we wouldn't have so much currency in so many millions of hands right now today. And, uh, you know, kind of like what happened with Bitcoin, right? The price shot up because some big investors came in and, and they bought a bunch of it. Um, and on the way up, a lot of people bought Bitcoin because they saw it going up, right? So maybe at the $800, $900 level, people were buying up Bitcoin because they were like, oh my God, it's just going up and up. Well, what happened when this small minority of people, these investors, decided, okay, it's time to sell and make our profits? Well, just like in the mass markets, guys, just like in the, um, the S&P 500, the institutions in, in the S&P 500, the really, really big um, corporations, those are the ones who actually move the market. The little people don't move the market nearly as much unless, the, unless there's some catastrophic sell-off, but... The big institutions are who move the market, right? 
Well, with Bitcoin, the same thing happened. Those That small bit of investors, right? They decided it was time to sell. And guess who got hurt? All the people who bought it in that four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollar level, right? All the people that jumped on the bandwagon, they all got hurt because it plummeted so quickly that some people weren't able to get out in time. And, you know, now it's much more stable. So I definitely, um, I, I think it's, I respect the stability of, of uh, Bitcoin right now. It's much more stable currency, but at the same time, it's not really uh, a spendable coin when it comes to smaller scale merchants. People in nooks and crannies of all, all around the world are not going to accept Bitcoin because they're worried about losing profit, right? Because Bitcoin can drop and it can go up. It's a speculative coin. So what Dr. Ruja wanted to create was a cryptocurrency that guess what? We don't have to worry about running out and selling when we go public. In fact, my hope is that when we go public the second quarter of 2018, we're going to value our currency so much it's going to be spendable and it's going to be stable. We're going to want to hang on to that currency much more than we would a fiat currency, right? I'm sure there will be trading going on. There'll be some fluctuation, but the goal is to have a stable currency. And that is basically what Dr. Ruja wanted to accomplish. And that is why the restricted selling was necessary. But you guys might be thinking, well, why would I want to get involved in something that has restricted selling? Well, just because you have restricted selling doesn't mean you're losing out. And uh, allow me to, to basically elaborate on this. So here's just kind of a little example. And, and I don't know if these are 100% accurate. I'm sure that the Tycoon and the Premium are right. And I think these bottom ones are, are correct as well. If I'm wrong on the exact amount, somebody can, you know, feel free to, uh, to correct me. But if you buy a starter package for 110 euros or a trader package for 550 euros or a pro trader for 1100 euros, um, you know, you are going to be restricted once, once you get that, those coins that come through. Because when you buy the package, you get your education. That's the product you paid for. And then you get your bonus tokens for free. And you get to participate in the mining pool and create the one coins, which is great, right? But then those coins come through and what happens? People see dollar signs and they forgot everything they were told when they first came in about this is a two to three year project. And, you know, maybe they were misinformed or whatever, but all of a sudden they see that there's a profit there and they want to sell it, right? Which is understandable. That's the emotional response. That's the idea of I want to take my profit, right? Well, What's really important to understand is that you're getting a lot more coins. You're getting a lot more coins than what you paid for. So you're getting a lot more value in terms of coins, but because of that, you're not able to sell all of them because it wouldn't even be realistic. So for example, with, a, you know, with an executive package, uh, you might spend 3,300 euros and you can only sell 36 euros a day, right? However, you're going to get way more coins because you get to participate in the split and the appreciating value of the coin continuing to go up that four or five, six months from now, you don't have to sell all your coins to get your money back, right? You could sell a percentage, even at that restricted um, number per day, you can only sell 36 euros per day. And after a little bit of time, you can get your initial um, money back, the money that you spent on your online education. So now you have your education was paid for for free and you still have way, way more coins than you even had to sell to get your money back. Do you understand? So I see that as a win-win. I see that as, as an incredible thing. Now, I would definitely not sell coins. I mean, I have videos. If you guys want to see, look at my video on selling coins. I show you exactly um, that selling coins is done in the back office in the internal exchange. But, you know, basically... Let's let's talk real numbers here. If you go to sell your coins, you're going to have about a 60 to 70% sell execution success rate. So that means about 60 to 70% of your sell orders are going to be completed. They're going to be executed. Somebody on the other end, on the buying end, is going to buy your coins. Okay, now you can only sell five days a week, just like a standard market, five days a week. So that comes out to about 20 days a month or 20 um 20 sell orders a month, actually. Um, so 20 days a month. And, and out of that 20, let's say 70% go through, 
So that's about 14 sell orders a month successfully, right? Let's put successfully here. So that's really important to see. So for example, let's look at this premium package. Now what a lot of people do is they take a starter, they buy a starter, right? And then they slap a premium on top of it. And that gives them four splits. So if they're getting all these splits, they're gonna be getting thousands of coins. I don't know the exact amount at this difficult, uh, this mining difficulty, but they're, let's say they're spending $15,000. Once it's all said and done, they're gonna have like 50 or $60,000 in coin value. So they have way, way, way more coins than they paid for. So to think, to, to, to actually be upset about the fact that you're not able to dump all of those is being a little bit ignorant because it's not realistic to come into an opportunity like this buy a package, have them return your, um, your purchasing power in, in, in coin value 10 times over, and then say, okay, yep, turn around and sell your coins tomorrow. That doesn't make any sense. We're creating a currency here, guys. We need to have it stable, and we need to have the community big enough and have it usable. And then when we go to the public, the potential for huge profits is going to come. But that's not the phase we're in right now. So we are in the phase of phase two beginning, which is usability. So the selling is still restricted, okay? <laughs> so hopefully you kind of see that, but just to further this example, let's say that you can sell 120 euros, that's, that's the max amount for a premium package, and you get to, you know, this is probably conservative, but 14 of those sell orders go through um, per month. So that's about 1,680 euros that you will be able to make in the internal exchange per month, okay? So let's take that package value, and let's say you spent 13,750 euros, you divide that by 1,680 euros, right? Because that's per month, and basically that is, comes out to 81 sell orders, right? And that's, that's saying you're gonna sell about 17, 17 coins per day. Per order. So if you have 81 sell orders that, that it takes to get back your, your initial 13,750 euros, so you're looking at about five to six months that it would take to get back your initial purchase, right? Okay. But what do you guys think happens at the end of that? If you, which I highly, highly do not recommend selling your coins. <laughs> Okay, if you if you invest if you put money into this and you saw it as an investment and you know you wanted to turn around and and kind of look at it as a short term pump and dump opportunity, then you know shame on you, but or shame on whoever mis misinformed you. But at the end of the day, this is your responsibility. Anytime you put money into something, it's one hundred percent your responsibility. So the the really cool thing is that how many coins is this? Thirteen seventy seven, one thousand three hundred seventy seven coins. Do you guys realize that with a starter? on top of a premium package, you're probably gonna end up with tens of thousands of coins. Do you guys get that? So all you had to do was sell a percentage of your coins. And yes, it took a little bit more time. You had to do it over a five to six month period, but you still have this huge amount of coins left, several thousand, ten thousands, and at an even higher price because the coins continue to appreciate and our demand is so high right now. So. I just want you guys to really stop and think about that and really look at this example because this is an incredible opportunity. Even though you can't turn around and dump all your coins, guys, don't just dismiss this right away and say, oh, I can't sell my coins in full, so therefore I don't like this. It's really important to stop and think about the bigger picture, understand why the selling is restricted, and to understand that your coins wouldn't even exist. You wouldn't even have one coins you wouldn't even be able to be part of this opportunity. You wouldn't be able to take advantage of this genius marketing plan. You wouldn't be able to do any of that if it were not set up the way it is set up. So instead of questioning everything, maybe at this point you can kind of take a step back and realize the genius of how this is orchestrated and appreciate that, yeah, you could get your, your money back that you spent on your education. Keep your education so you got that for free and still have five, ten times over the amount of coins left in your e-wallet for when we go in, in the future down the road and, we, um, and, we, and we're able to supply the, the masses with this currency.
that's pretty exciting. If you guys don't see that as an opportunity and you're not willing to be a little bit patient and you know understand that this is a, a two to three year project, then this may not be the right opportunity for you. If you're so eager to, to just convert your currency right back to fiat dollars and make a quick buck, well, my question to you is where are you going to be after you get your dollars back? Are you educated enough to take those dollars, those depreciating dollars, and turn it into more wealth? If not, then this is the best thing you got going for you. Because unless you have the education to go and, and do some trading or you know how to invest or What's the point of getting back your U.S. dollars or your euros or your yuans or whatever currency you, you work in? Why would you want to get that back so quickly if you don't even know how to, how to create wealth? Do you understand what I'm saying? People are so quick to want to get their dollars back. But when they get their dollars back, they have the same mindset. And there is no greater treasure than a mindset that is built around wealth, a mindset that knows how to, how to execute strategies and maintain a discipline in order to create wealth. That's a true treasure. So if you don't have that, then my question to you is why are you wanting to get your dollars back so quickly? So you can turn around and blow it and lose it? If you don't know how to reinvest, then what's the point? If you don't know how to invest your dollars and, and make those dollars more valuable, then why not stay plugged into this opportunity and actually delve into the education that you bought and understand how the mechanics of OneCoin and the One Life Network is the most genius thing you have ever seen. It's the most genius thing I've ever seen. Maybe it's not the most genius thing you've ever seen, but it very well could be. And maybe the thing about it is, is that you just don't understand it. So I hope that that, that uh, message resonated with some of you out there. I hope it gives you a little bit of uh, breathing room, a little bit more peace. And, and knowledge really is power, guys. So if you have the knowledge and you have conviction, just like the conviction I have on this video right now, think about it. You're listening to me speak right now. I understand why this is set up the way it's set up, and I don't have a doubt in my mind that it's the best possible me mechanics that, that could have been put in place. That's conviction. That's posture. And if you can talk to people like that, well, then you're going to have great success. If you can't talk to people like that, then it's because you have lack of belief. And lack of belief simply comes from lack of understanding. So I hope this uh, message resonated with you guys. Please click the more info link below if you want to get more uh, educational videos on this incredible opportunity. And uh, if you want to, lock in a spot by clicking the um, free registration link below. Like my video, subscribe to my channel, and comment, and I will talk to you guys soon. This is John Riley signing off.